So, change of plans. Say its name will be making an appearance. I will get the other land. And I will get a 9 9. Because why not, right? Uh, I think it's in the library. Yep. Okay, so turn 2 9 9 on the battlefield. How's it going everyone? Welcome to another video on the channel. Today we'll be bringing you another deck tech. Today's deck will be a very very... Uh, let me clean this. <laughs> a very very fun and interesting one. It's a soul tie reanimator deck. But Squirming Emergency is basically the... Um, the star of the show here. Uh, you play a Squirming Emergence with cards like Valgavoth, Atraxa, Altanak, Lumra. Uh, Arvester of Misery or Jace on the battlefield and you get them there just for 3 mana. We've done, you're gonna see in the videos because of cards like Sate's name, you, I got a 9-9 nine nine Altanac for, for free on turn 2, as early as turn 2. I got him on turn 3 a couple of, in a couple of occasions, I don't know exactly if all of these games will appear in, the, in this video, but it's very 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 possible to get a 9-9 on turn 2 or 3 because you will be milling a lot of stuff. With cards like Founding the Third Path you get to mill if you read ahead onto the second chapter. The Clock Prankster you get to mill 4 cards. Sate's Name you get to mill 3 cards. Whale of the Forgotten you get to look at the top 3 cards of your library, put one of them into your hand and the rest into your graveyard. Uh, you get to discard cards with the uh, Bitter Triumph. Jace will also help you with the uh, discard part. Also, you have, still in this discard team, you have the Survey Lands, Underground Mortuary, and uh, Edge Maze are the two we're using in the stack, so you get to discard cards using the Survey ability. You will then have cards like Squirming Emergence to go get whatever it is that you need out of your graveyard. Halo Forager will help you copy instant or sorcery cards from any graveyard by paying X and you then don't need to pay the mana cost of the card again. So let's say you have a Squirming Emergency on the battlefield and you have 6 mana. You play an Halo Forager, you copy, you pay 3 you copy the Squirming Emergence and then you'll get to go get whatever it is from your battlefield. It's very easy to get a lot of mana. We're playing with 25 lands. I was a little bit flooded, so I, I'm thinking about taking one of these and adding another Terror Tide because we're playing against a lot of aggro decks these days, right? Mono Red, Boros, uh, Mono White Tokens. Orzov. So having cards that can wipe the board easily is very important. We don't have a lot of removal. We only have Bitter Triumph and Terror Tide basically. Then you have Harvester of Misery which can also be very helpful with that but it's not removal per se, right? So, But yeah, that's basically it. Discard a bunch of crazy cards. Go get them back with Squirming Emergence. Mill a bunch of cards. Go get 3 Sates name to your graveyard and put a 9-9 nine -nine Altenac the Thrice Cult. <laughs> pretty simple, pretty easy, I really hope you enjoy the deck. Again, I rage, not rage, but I tilt a little bit in this, in this game. It's difficult to accept the randomness, let's call it like that, that it's just random. It's difficult to accept that sometimes when you see a pattern, but you know how brains are, we look for patterns as well, so... I don't know. <laughs> I still had a lot of fun with this tag. Hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I'm not gonna waste any more of your time and uh, yeah, let's get into the games. Okay guys, this is a very cool deck we got here today. I think, yeah, I think I'll keep this and it's not a terrible turn two. I can founding the third path into say its name and then just chill for a bit. Let's start with a little surveil, just to see what we get. I'll take a land, for sure. But like I was saying, I've been having a lot of fun with this deck. The deck is competitive. I've tried it on, on ranked, I already got uh, 
one or two but uh, but i started very um very low this season so i don't think that's really <laughs> i don't think that's really something we need to worry that much about oh this was i'll take the halo forager why not i need to apologize in advance because of my uh, allergies today it's not been a very good uh, sunday on that front but you know we power through we survive i just <laughs> I, i'm just saying that sometimes i might go uh the mic might need to be muted so keep that in mind please or you may hear some some strange noises but all good in the hood <laughs> uh let's see what aaron caveman is playing today okay deep cavern bat no worries about that honestly this is supposed to be well it's not one of like it's ours off so i'm not gonna think this is a uh... okay to say its names and we already have uh... whale of the forgotten not terrible i'll go with that one and i'll go with that one i'll lose two life I will just up tick right now, at least for a turn, because Deep Cavern Bat won't be able to do anything. And if he wants to focus, our opponent wants to focus all of his attention on Jace, that's fine by me. I will most likely take Whale of the Forgotten because I won. Um, I don't know. I want to look at the top three cards of my library, put one of them in my hand. Do I though? Is that so important? I mean, it's the only thing I can actually do because I'm not going to lose the say its name. So yeah, that's probably what I will do. Or that is what I will do. I think that that makes more sense to say. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. Harvester of Misery, right? Yeah. That's what makes the most sense, obviously. I will... Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. I like that, the castle. Uh, yeah, for sure. Hmm, that one. That was terrible. Okay, I will do this. I will clear. Okay, okay, okay. So I can. Well, I'm just gonna pass turn because next turn I can either free the Fey or Altenac into. Um, another land. I've actually played a game before that I tried to record, and it was against uh, this card <laughs> strategy. We won, but uh, I forgot to record the screen for the first I don't know, half of the game. <laughs> that wasn't very smart of me. But I never said I was smart, so there you go. So I'm going to assume one at Jace, one at me. A Terror Tide would be great, to be honest. I think I'm just gonna Altenac right now. And I will go get... I think I want to Surveil. I think surveilling is important in this deck. Hmm, yeah. See why you need to surveil? Lumra would be a great one actually because with Lumra on the field we can do pretty much anything we want. And we have another one, so I can actually play both, right? 
So I'm gonna do this now. I really just want all the land back. Plus we are milling more cards. Who knows, maybe I'll find the third Sage's name and, and get a 9-9 on the battlefield. <laughs> that would be actually pretty, pretty decent. That's fine by me. I'll still get all the things. Beautiful. Do I want a Restless Reef? I already have one, right? Yeah, so no, I'm not gonna take the Restless Reef now. Definitely not the Fable Passage. I can go get Valgavoth. I will go get Valgavoth. I thought of Faxa, but if he wants to kill Valgavoth, he needs to lose his entire board. To do that because you need to sacrifice three non-land permanents right yeah exactly so that's pretty nice plus um every card that dies on his um that goes into the graveyard on his side of the board now will just get quote unquote eaten by valgavoth and i can play it so <laughs> That's pretty, pretty decent. Yep, you have to destroy your whole board, which I'm extremely fine with. I have all the mana I need, and I just need the... Um, now I got in the tracks as well. So I think I'm gonna... Um, I'm pretty sure this will end the game. I don't think my opponent will be very happy to, to see this. So I'll go with that. I'll play three. And I'll go play uh what's it called? Squirming emergence. Yep. And with the squirming emergence, I'll go get Valgavoth again. <laughs> and just to... Yeah, I'll do that now. Why not? I was gonna say, just to make things worse, I'm gonna... be Lock Prankster or free the Fae in that case. See if I can find the last Sage's name, but eh, why? Let him. I'm perfectly fine with that. Well, in that case, <laughs> you chose this, buddy. You chose this. Oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Uh, no, why would I? <laughs> I have nothing to go for throat. So next turn, I will definitely say it's okay. Yeah, that makes no difference for me. He's probably gonna get. Oh no, he doesn't have deep cavern bed. Okay, so yeah, definitely say its name. Okay, let me see what I'll get back. I will get back the Halo Forager, but first and foremost, let me get a 9-9 on the battlefield in the graveyard, right? Yeah. Okay, I'll just attack with these two. Our opponent... Yeah, I would assume you will block, but I didn't think it was that one. Yeah, I don't like. I don't want to waste two life on that. Yeah, why not? Why not just casually dropping? Um. Oh, that's beautiful. That is gorgeous. Ooh, do I want to play this? Sure, why not? Now I have more than enough mana. Return target non line permanent card with mana value. Oh, I think I can do this. Yes, I can. 
Do I have anything to play for free? Not really. Okay, this was a mistake. I... yeah. Uh, yeah, this was a mistake. I'll decline. This was a mistake, I should have went with the, the other one. But that's me, I'm... <laughs> My board is so crazy right now that I can't even think straight, so I just made a stupid mistake. <laughs> good game, man. Good game. That was... I, my board is so, like, uh, insane right now. It's not that often you see a, a Trax, a Valgavoth and an Altenac, the Thrice called, on the battlefield together. Plus my opponent's Zor Zorlin, Zoraline, I never know how to pronounce this name. And my, my former video started this card, so I don't know, my last video. Uh, we had a Lumra to play, we had another Squirming Emergence. We could copy the Squirming Emergence with the Yellow Forager after this. Nah, this was crazy. <laughs> Let's get into another one. Crazy, crazy, crazy first game. Cyberstorm 1977. Do I want this and... No. No, I do not. I do want this one. And I'll take that one out. No... Well, this is completely indifferent, so I'll just go with that. And then next turn, probably Bloomy March, so I can uh, play Family. Hmm. Yep. <laughs> I will obviously discard the card, Draxa. And we're off to the races. Mm, I'm gonna mill. Beautiful. And I'll just pass turn. So I don't have anything super interesting, obviously a Draxa would be great. Will I mean I can beat her triumph? Do I want that? This is not gonna. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit. I'm gonna risk it for you all. Let's go. No fear. Oh, a lot of fear now. Jesus. Three lands. Three, which. Actually, we're four lands in a row. I'll take that one. Hey, maybe I shouldn't have... I'm gonna lose, what, 10 life? What is this? You know, lose life. Okay. 10 life, right? 11 life, yeah, because... Okay, 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 okay. That is far from good. Far from good. So I have seven. I have enough for that one. Yeah. Mm, nothing interesting. I don't know if it's gonna survive though, but let's see. Terratide. Jace. I'll go get. Another land. I don't want to surveil one now. And I will go with founding and that. Okay, so. This is only minus two, minus two. Should I put the Picklock Prankster to try and block the Slasher? You think I should? I asked and immediately did it. Just because the Trax is definitely gonna die. If the Prankster survives, that's perfect. If not, well, I will Terror Tide either way. Okay, that's perfectly fine. That is perfectly fine for me. So I will. Paratype. I know that's gonna happen. I don't care. 
because now I'll go with that thing. Okay, so there is no, 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 no. Okay, yeah, this one. I was gonna misplay again, but luckily I didn't. Okay, so next turn. And actually, Terror Tide again. Let's see what our opponent does, because if not, I'll have to score mini merges. But I can also go with the uh, Lumha Bitter Triumph. Like, there's a lot of stuff I can do. Yeah, I'll definitely have to Terror Tide. Okay. That will give minus 12, minus 12. I have no issues with doing that, to be perfectly honest with you guys. I've already read your and you we'll draw. I will draw, but do I want to make him meal or myself? I'm gonna make myself meal, I still have a lot of... I it wasn't great, not gonna lie. Okay, that's perfectly fine for me. Just go with that, no worries. And I will obviously. I'll pay three. Warming. Emergence. And I'll go get. I think I'll go get Luna, man, honestly. Luma, I mean. Nah, I'm gonna go get a Traxa. I'm gonna die, but my hand will be. Uh, will be. Yeah, I'll take a Sage name. Replenished. squirming emergence that's actually pretty 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 decent what should i take i already have a looming end so i don't think i need to take that i'll go with the halo again and uh, you know this is this is what i need to do right now i'm only on six life so i really need to survive okay no worries at all i will just sacrifice what harvester i'll sacrifice that okay okay hmm. i'll go with that oh, well first of all Back with both because why not, right? Gain a lot of life. I will squirming emergence Lumra, Lumra, whatever it's called. I still have five. Mm, how many cards I have? I don't even need to know. I don't even need to know. Because <laughs> next turn, he knows I have Halo Forager. Next turn, Valgavoth would be coming into the battlefield. Or another Jace if I want to go to the mill with the mill route. So, this is crazy. You can do some crazy stuff here <laughs> with this deck, trust me. <laughs> Let's get into another one. As you can see, the last two games were basically the same, right? <laughs> so, there's consistency in this. It's it's not just let's do this and hope for the best, you know, it's a consistent, fun, competitive deck. I have zero doubts in my mind about that, you know? Okay, let's go. Now I'm not gonna put me now. I have to take that one. Next and I'll most likely say its name again. I think it makes sense at this point. I have to exile a card from my hand. Well, I don't want to exile anything here. 
Alexala land. Not ideal, but maybe I should have exiled the other one. Who cares right now? Yeah, I'll take that one. And my opponent already knows what I'm playing with, so there's no point in, in bluffing anything. I'll go with black. Oh, don't mind if I do. Is this gonna be the, the quickest? Let me see if he's on the, there. Is that? Is this gonna be the quickest? Altenac in history. <laughs> Turn 399 Altenac. Because that is kind of crazy. <laughs> well, I guess it was. Uh, I didn't even notice that I have all three Sage names already so quick. So quick. That was nuts. <laughs> this was a one minute and a half game. Let's get into another one, guys. That was a crazy crazy <laughs> that was so quick i didn't even notice how fast that was oh my god so i i think i'll keep but this is not a pretty decent end to keep well we got a little better now we have uh i'll definitely take the saint's name Let's see if it's countered. It's not, so either our opponent isn't really playing with counters or it really didn't make a difference for him. Okay. Draw two and discard one. Ooh. I I can sense something bad's about to happen. Not even gonna wait. Okay, so two say its names. Okay. Let me play it. And we got the third. <laughs> and uh, I will do the exact same thing. Let's see. Altenac is in hand now. Search my hand, Altenac, and we got a 9 9 on the battlefield. <laughs> Again. Now, this is against Azorius control, so I'm not as confident. Exactly. That's perfectly fine for us. It was still very cool to see that happening so quickly and so beautifully. Yeah, that's not cool. <laughs> I did not enjoy that opponent, come on. We're supposed to be friends here. Uh, hmm, I really don't know what to do now. I'm gonna Restless Reef. And I'm gonna score me Emergence. To get on the track, so just to see, you know, what happens. I don't want these in hand. I will go with that. We'll take that. No, we'll take that. <laughs> and we <we've, laughs> with all of these. So that and that, I guess. Yeah, that makes sense. With all of this happening, we only <laughs> managed to ping for one. Hey, spark rupture. What does this do? Each planeswalker loses all abilities and is a creature. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, this is definitely not a great matchup for us. But we'll see what happens. We can score me emergence again and go get Lumra. We can. I can see my opponent's hand from 
a graveyard. We can do that and go get Lumra as well. Keeping the emergence. I think. Yeah, I think I will go do that and play the Lumra. Because why not? I'll have a lot of mana. I'll keep that for sure. And uh, huh. yeah, I'll just go with that just to have a, a small blocker because Lumri is not gonna survive. That seems pretty uh, pretty obvious actually. So. The blocker will be important in this situation. Oh, it just killed everything. Hmm. That's interesting. I mean, he has a lot of stuff to, <laughs> to bring his, his things back, so... Not that weird. Okay, I'm gonna try something. So that, that, and that. I will put that, I will go with that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 mana. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 mana available. So if it's something that targets this uh, counter, whatever, unless opponent plays whatever. I'm safe if it's not. Okay, counter target spell. Okay, that's rough, but I'll take it. Also, I can just do this and go get it back, so... Take action to... No, I want that. Yep, doubt, doubt, doubt. Uh, yep, so... Everything happened exactly the same way. <laughs> but you know, pretty good. I will get the squirming emergence, obviously. And I will play it, and I will get now. Yeah, it has to be Lumra again. I'll get a bunch more lands. I don't know. Maybe I'm missing something. I couldn't can play that again. gonna say but I can also put it back again but I can't right where is that hmm now what should I do you know what what I should try and do at least I will go look for a card. I'll go look for... Uh, that didn't go exactly as planned, but I'll take it. Same thing, but now I'll take that one. Target an opponent. Let's see what he... okay, just that. I will get an Atraxa into my hand. And I think I might get this. 13. It's just melee stuff. Yeah, I got this. <laughs> that was a tougher game, for sure. Uh, all three, I think, four games we've played on video so far. All the games I've played on video were wins, by the way. Even the first one that I didn't record. So right now we have 100% win rate with this deck. Uh, it's gonna be over soon, I'm sure. But uh, from all of the games, this was definitely the hardest one. But this is a very complete, complete deck. Uh, let's try ranked. Let's see how these games go in rank, guys. I've been struggling, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it 
Yesterday I was winning a lot of matches, today it feels like I cannot win one. The deck is just not performing right. I don't understand why, but I don't get the cards I need when I need and my opponents have like optimal uh, starts every single time, but let's see if this is the the um, the game that changes all of that i truly believe in my heart that this is a fantastic deck i've been having a lot of fun with it on play and on rank because i've played with it on rank before so yeah i'm, I'm sure i'm sure this is a great deck but see what happened in four cards three lands Four cards, three lands in a row, like that's that's nuts. Okay, so I'll keep this. Should I Jace? I will Jace. I will, no worries. Not that scared. I will do this. You cannot win. Okay, so that will give us a turn, hopefully. I will maybe say its name okay so it's a 2-3 now of course it is oh, of course it is <clears throat> okay that's fine not annoying at all let's see what we draw first terror type i'll take it i'll take it i will go with say its name though i kind of want to do that Far from ideal, don't get me wrong, but I think I will edge maze this turn. Yeah, no, I don't want any more lands, man. So with the terror side, hopefully my opponent can and will play a couple more cards. Let's see if we don't die immediately because I can see that happening. So we're talking okay, 12 now. 12 damage. Wait, what? Why? Oh, it's target mouse. Okay, that makes sense. Reading the card explains the card. I will go with the swamp. But right now, terror type. I think. There's not a lot our opponent can do about this one. Unless it can magically give plus three um, in defense to the his creature, but I don't think it can. Well, plus four because plus three was still there. Uh, I have black, blue, green. Don't really have white, so I'll go with white. I will just pass turn because I can play both of these uh, as an instant. That's exactly what I'm gonna do now. Forming emergence. Yes, please. Yes, please, finally. And another one. When it rains, it goddamn pours. I'm gonna throw Lumra under the bus. I don't know what our opponent has, but I want all the mana that I can have. Okay. I'll take a Sage name. I will just uh, play this one in past turn. Because I don't know if we're talking Sunfall here. I guess not. So I'll say its name first and foremost. I'll go get an Halo Forager so I can copy. I will attack. Okay. We'll have a lot of cards. I don't know if I have uh, a lot of. Uh, oh, I still do, yeah. That's perfect. That is perfect, so swarm and I will squirming emergence. I'll go get an attraction now. Finally, 
finally the deck is actually performing as I wanted to. I'll play Restless Reef. I think. Yeah, I think I'm just. I was gonna just pass turn, but you know, finally the deck performed as it should. Um. In the last couple games, like two games, three games maybe that I played, we lost on rank. But the thing here is, uh, in those games, we didn't get a single squirming emergence, for example. Uh, we played against uh, very quick decks, very aggressive decks that have very that I, that have had very optimal starts. We didn't get a terror type. I mean, that's a lie. We got one terror type in those all of those games no bitter triumph which is normal don't get me wrong we don't have a lot of them in the deck let's get into another one after that win we got the first rank game that we won we had the game that we lost and a game that we won that i didn't show because our opponents just quit like turn three or four nothing really happened so I think he didn't get what he needed or wanted after a Mosswood Dread Knight uh, draw, I think. I think that's the name of the card. Anyway, we go and go again, but the game is completely... Oh, that's nice. Never... Huh. Oh, I'm just... <laughs> sorry. Uh, the game is completely different on ranked. Honestly, it's crazy. It's crazy how decks start to get love if that makes sense when you go on rank because in the last game and obviously if you play enough games this will happen so uh maybe it's just me being being kind of dumb but in the last game um i had uh, what's it called what's the name of that land I have uh, Gloom Lake Virgin for the first time in at least a couple dozen games. Easy. Easily a couple dozen games. I didn't have the mana to... to... make it tap for both colors. That never happened. Never. Uh, the same with this, like... We got one, two, three... lands in our first uh, couple of turns plus what four in our opening end or something so again that never happens in, in play never you you go to the ranked games and they change completely um the way the deck performs and the deck draws and your opening ends and your closing ends but okay i've rented enough <laughs> this helps me I know that for the the ones that are viewing the video, that are watching the video, sorry, or that are just listening as background noise, this might be like, oh, there goes this guy again, bitching and moaning about the shuffler. This helps me, you know. I don't have a lot of people to, to talk to about magic and, and just ranting about the shuffler. Helps me get through another week playing the game that I love to play. <laughs> so bear with me okay trust me when i say this is fun as hell this like is fun as hell crazy stuff happens and that's what i love about magics when i can i can do crazy stuff okay so seven i can start doing some crazy stuff this turn you know i can put lumra on the battlefield Harvester of Misery as well. We'll kill everything except that one. Harvester is what? 5 4. Hmm. Should I? Shouldn't I? Should I? Shouldn't I? I will. <laughs> like I said, I'll kill everything on the battlefield, so. And that's a 3 4 that I can block if I want to. The game pretty much restarted. Uh, my opponent doesn't have a lot of land, so what I'm gonna do is... The second I get the opportunity, I will will have the Forgotten and will just use all three modes. Uh, that's my... Uh, 
goal at least. I don't know if I won't take it. Nah, I have to block it. Yeah, I have to block it, so I will. That's a lot. Okay, land that our opponent desperately needed, trust me. I will block either way. Will our opponent just draw? Will he attack? Well, what will happen? Our opponent is deep in. <laughs> okay, so I will surveil now. Might be a good chance to. Uh... Uh... This says 8 or more permanent cards. Oh, I want to draw that actually. I will play that. I think I will attack. Let me see what our opponent chooses to do. He's probably gonna draw. I think that's why he's holding priority. Okay. I will. I'm risking it because next turn I'll have a lot of mana, and with a little bit of luck, I can block the Wandering Rescuer with the Picklock Prankster, and I can have more cards so i can use all in the more permanents in the graveyard so i can use all of the um, all the modes in the whale of the forgotten because that's the best way to use this card obviously and i'm only two cards away of being able to do that okay that's fine ish i wouldn't say no to a terror type not gonna lie. I think I'll just attack with both. One of them is. Uh... Oh, that was beautiful, actually. I will get Peter Triumph. And now, say it's. Let me just see if he's here. It is in the graveyard. I will get a 9-9 for free from the graveyard and I will beat their triumph that okay, and I'll just play that one okay let's see how our opponent gets out of this because we have a 9-9 on trample we have two flyers with vigilance and a 5-4 with minus on the battlefield a tap land so no sunfall if that was part of the plan sheltered by goats that's perfectly fine by me I get a card uh will he attack i would say so and i will definitely block So we're talking War 2, I have enough for that, uh, target an opponent, resolve, okay, hopefully I get to resolve it actually, but maybe I won't. And we got the win, <laughs> that was enough. That was a good one. That was enough though. Whale of the Forgotten, you will be remembered by all of us as the king of this game. I wish I knew what I would get in the in this three, but we were pretty solid. It was a good game. Let's get into another one. Okay, finally I got a good game for you guys. That Whale of the Forgotten play was very decent. Hmm. Ah, I don't like this end, man. These two, love it. These two, not really. Not, not better. Unfortunately, not better, but... We will try. Hmm. I think I will surveil immediately lands. Of course, you get four lands in hand. And magic things. Well, this guy needs more lands. That's that's obvious. <laughs> okay. So change of plans. 
let's say its name will be making an appearance I will get the other land and I will get a 9-9 because why not right uh, I think it's in the library yep okay so turn to 9-9 on the battlefield magic gods give it and the magic gods take it away I don't mind that that was an awesome thing to see, to, to see. A turn to nine nine. Okay, so let's let's chill on the land, please. That's that's a little too much now. Okay, I will take a bitter triumph. I will take a bitter triumph. Uh, I will do it right now because there's no point. I mean, no, I won't actually. Ugh, I will because I know there's that uh, pesky little little car that are uh, this deck plays that I don't really remember what it is. I don't remember the name. That's fine. You spent your whole turn doing that. That's fine by me. Come on, really. Now, you cannot tell me I'm in the wrong here, okay? We're to look at the amount of lands we got. You cannot tell me I'm in the wrong here. I need a Terror Tithe. Well, I don't think that that would make uh, a difference, actually. Okay, so Jace... Jace isn't terrible. That's indifferent. I will go with that. Now I'm gonna lose. I need to do this. Okay, so we're talking six now. I don't think we're gonna win this. But, like I said, we're talking six now. So a terror tide would be enough at this point. Okay, so he decided not to go with the Restless Prairie attack. So he's gonna kill Jace. Okay, I'll take it. Terror Tithe. A minor setback to Phyrexia's plan. I don't know what you will do with an Ossificate or just to yeah, that makes sense. That's that's a nice play actually. So yeah, Terror Tithe is the thing we want. If we don't get Terror Tithe. We're kind of screwed, I guess. So we're kind of screwed, I guess. <laughs> uh, I can go with the tracks, but that's not really gonna do anything. But yeah, sure, why not? This is what the deck does, so let's do it. Mm, founding. Another fable, say its name and Jace. Why not? So, <clears throat> sorry. Let's see, let's see, let's see what I can do. Mm, I was gonna go with Jace, but now I'm gonna go with this one. I will play what? Its name doesn't really do a lot of things. Okay, yeah, Beat and Triumph. Oh, too little, too late. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure he has an ossification or something like that that will prevent me from winning the, the life. Uh, if he doesn't, I don't mind actually uh, losing the tracks uh, after gaining the life I mean but don't really know don't really believe that's gonna happen okay maybe it will so I'm gonna lose a lot of life that's for sure yeah I will just Gain life back. 
so another ossification obviously that's what we were uh, expecting that's definitely not something we were not expecting and more mana because that's again what we're expecting to happen of course of course of course of course of course uh, of course when you have all the mana in the world but can't really do anything you know that says a lot that says a lot so i will bitter triumph the calyx discarding a card not gonna risk anything <laughs> That has War 2, so I will do that. 1, 2, 3. I will put Chase on the battlefield, why not? Yeah, it makes no difference, let's be honest. I will go with that. Yeah, like you gotta, you, you gotta think about it this way. We have... We have crap ton of ways of dealing with whatever my my opponents uh, do right but it's very difficult I'm obviously gonna block very difficult when you when 90% of what you draw is mana okay so harvester is not bad I can also terror tide but if I do it, one, two, let's say three, four, I get one, two, three, four. I can't just squirm in emergence and. Uh, hmm. I can also beat our triumph, kills the archivist, for example, take out Valgavoth. Nah, I'm gonna do with the deck, easier to do. Let's go with Lumra. This is what the deck's here to do, and uh, okay, so 15, 15, 16, 16, and now I, I will harvest sort of misery, killing some stuff. Uh, I cannot select that one. So should I just minus X and be done with that? I'll go with that. Hopefully I'll get one turn. One turn with at least one more turn I mean because Valgavoth will be coming into the battlefield no matter what. Okay, that's perfect we might actually be stabilizing that might actually be the case here okay halo forager i'll definitely take that as well if i squirm emergence do i have anything not really uh, hmm. I'll go with that. Our plans are beyond Do I have any... No, I don't have any basic lands on the battlefield, so there's no point in doing that either. Hmm. I guess I'll just attack with both, because my opponent needs to block at least one of them, so... Okay. That is fine. Now I'm just a little confused because this one does what? I make as an instant or sorcery card many of Alex from a graveyard. Let me see if my opponent has anything interesting. No. And what do I actually have? I have squirming, founding, it's 
not so I can also terror tithe minus nine minus nine so it costs four right so yeah one two three four how to pay time so that's fine because I will keep my Lumra and I will have like Valgavoth and two restless reefs yeah i think we got this i think it's pretty 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 good this was a, a weird game again like it was it wasn't necessary to to suffer this much but we ended up with the win and really complain about that one final thoughts guys like i said incredibly fun deck to play with you do so much crazy stuff it's not even fun to mention that <laughs> having a altanak a 9-9 with trample that will immediately become a target so you at least get a card out of this on turn two on the battlefield that's insane insane but like i said it's very fun i think that the one one thing i miss more was more removal so definitely another terror tide and maybe another bitter triumph would be very helpful maybe take out one lumra i think that lumra one is enough you're not gonna want to play this twice i i don't think because you will play this when you have a bunch of lines on your on the um, on the battle on the graveyard sorry either way so you know it seems a little bit too much to have two and i would take out another land i don't know maybe a botanical sanctum or a blooming march i would probably go with the sanctum i think let me see yeah we have a lot of black a lot of blue as well not that much green or white uh but white we only have planes for if we need to normal cast uh an attraxa so yeah, I think this would probably be a little bit better. The deck would perform a little bit better because against very fast decks, Terror Tide will be fantastic, right? Because you can you can easily clean the board on turn four with Terror Tide if you if you get to mill twice. You just need to mill twice to be honest. You have a lot of cards on the battlefield that will will help with the Fathomless Descent of Terror Tide, so which in turn will also help with the squirming emergence which is basically what you really want to be doing with this deck that's why i think in the last video i had other other routes but i said ah screw it i'm gonna play squirming emergences emergence because that's what this deck wants to do anyway this was the video uh, i really hope you enjoyed it uh, if you did please don't forget to leave a like comment share and obviously subscribe we actually hit 1.1k views in my Azorius uh, artifacts deck. That's amazing. I really do appreciate that. Also, we're on 119 subscribers. I really wish we could get 150 by the end of the year. That would be uh, beautiful. Um, but yeah, I really hope you enjoy the, the content that I'm putting out. And uh, if you do, please don't forget to subscribe. That helps a ton. And uh, it truly is appreciated. Okay, so <laughs> I'll see you on the next one.